Hello, everyone. Welcome to Everything Iconic with me, Danny Pellegrino. I just waved to the camera. I don't normally do that, but I, I suppose I'm, I'm waving at the three sisters as you well. You see a beauty queen and you're like, no, it's because all of us just went like this. Yeah. Is there a beauty queen wave? Is it like this? Is it? Yeah. Olivia, show You gotta just make sure you don't work too hard because you're going to be waving for a while. So <laughs> make it really small. You're usually in the back of like a limo or something. Oh, but some kind of yourself. You can be windy. Hold to just keep it small. Keep it small, right? Don't wear out the arm and shoulder too much. Um, yeah, okay, so nice. for those of you listening, I'm talking to Olivia Aurora and Sophia Culpa, stars of the new Culpo Sisters on TLC. I wanted to get to know the three of you uh, off the bat. And so I'm a pop culture junkie. And one of the things we often talk about in pop culture is in terms of sex in the city, are you a Carrie, a Samantha, Charlotte, or Miranda? Mm -hmm. And so I wonder who are all of you? Sophia, do you, do you know which one you would be? Uh, I've always been told I'm a Charlotte. She is the Charlotte. Yes. Yeah. News fact. Okay. I just like, I love babies. I love like cooking. I love like She doesn't love. swear. I, yeah. Like, oh, I, I just... You could what? be kind of Samantha. -y. Yeah, she's you're like Samantha. a mix. Aurora Samantha. Aurora Samantha, but then a little bit of Carrie because she's always with her long Instagram captions like "Dear Diary." Yes, <laughs> and I couldn't help but wonder. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yeah. that's honestly. The I'm Carrie and Samantha. A little mix. Yeah. A Samantha rising. Olivia, what are you? Percent are um Carrie's best friend. Why Samford? Yes, Samford. <laughs> <laughs> No, Olivia's Olivia's like a combination of Charlotte and uh, probably it, Carrie. Come on, I'm a fashion girl, you guys. No, you're a little bit more like spicy. No, than that. Carrie's too like not that you're not chill, but not as chill as Carrie. you're kind of like big in a woman form. I'll take oh, it. Interesting. Sure. Interesting. Oh my god, you, you are canceled. big. You're big. Oh, oh well, pre-can pre-canceled big. Pre-canceled. Pre-canceled big. That's horrible that I just said. First that. of all, the, the actor got canceled, not big. I thought he yeah. got, I thought, no, he the big he, died he, on the Peloton. Remember he, Peloton. spoiler he alert on, and the new one. He's not I the hope real guy. The Aurora, show. you just looked at oh, me like I spoiled that. No, no I didn't in the know show. that. And, but show. I followed the, the actual guy and I, big, and I, and I like him and I'm like, no, he did not die. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't watch that. Anyway, whoo, you just, okay. For a Wait, we're got, now <laughs> we got to move on to Kardashians. Are, do you relate to the Kardashians at all? Are you a Kim, a Courtney, a Chloe? We don't relate. We're totally different. <laughs> <laughs> this show, everyone's talking. It's like the new Kardashian. So I need to know, <laughs> Olivia, are you Who the are Kim? they, by the way? Yeah, we've never actually never heard of them. And we we have nothing to say about that. No. <laughs> Is there some animosity between them? No, no. We don't. Okay. Okay. Just not at all. I mean, we have like one note for these interviews. It's like, and you are not Kardashians. <laughs> no, um, we, uh, we, it's just that our show is so incredibly um, unique and different. Our dynamic is so different. Um, our parents are very unique people. The fact that we grew up in Rhode Island and the juxtaposition of Rhode Island and LA life is just so different from that show. Um, and our personalities and our dynamic is so unique that we just don't want to even compare That's ourselves really to them. Unique. Wait, they said unique. Is <laughs> <laughs> Do they give Stop you buzz? calling you yourself unique. You told me. Do they give I you Are they giving I, you buzz? We obviously see. <laughs> We are three we're, sisters. We're oh, okay, we're not unique. We are we're one of a kind. Oh my god! <laughs> no, hold on. we're one in a million. <laughs> You're one in a million. Okay, one wait. Uh, speaking of beauty queens um, and one in a million, have you seen this Miss congeniality? Is that what you were just that's referencing? My yes. Yes. yes, yes, that's my favorite oh, that's so in good. a lifetime. Um, okay, we were. Yeah. Um, this interview went off the rails already. Um, it, yeah see this is exactly why that answered your question and just what you saw that is why we're right, different right well I and I got a chance to <laughs> see the premiere wrecks. and it does seem different but I wonder are you nervous to open up your lives I'm sure you've gotten this question a million times like are you nervous about just revealing so much about your personal lives because as of right now we see what we see on social media of the three of you, but it's more or less in your control. But now with the show, I imagine you might have some say, but for the most part, it's going to be what the network or what the producers decide to show. So are you nervous? We're definitely really, really nervous. I feel I've, I've always felt very insulated by my family. We're so close and there's so many of us that it, it kind of feels nice just like holding hands and jumping in feet first. Like I feel like at the end of the day, sharing an experience like this and taking a, a chance with people that I care about so much 
the worst that could happen isn't that bad because at least I have them. And I know that that sounds so cheesy, but it is kind of, we have our own little like world. So like, I don't really, it lessens the blow of what other people think. So with that, I think it's easier to open up, um, but it's definitely challenging as well. Don't get me wrong, but I think we've all all built our platform too on being pretty vulnerable and connecting with people on Instagram. So that part kind of was like, yeah. It's definitely terrifying. We, yeah. we do trust our producer and our director. We do not, we didn't have any say in what they used or cutting anything. We haven't that, seen anything. We haven't seen anything, but I think we kind of went into it with the knowledge that if we're going to do this, we are going to do it all the way. We're going to be vulnerable. We're going to be authentic. And um, I really feel like that's the only way to do a show like this because you're either a hundred percent in or you're a hundred percent out. And we chose to be in and we, uh, we really were committed. We were, we were all in. You well, and I'm a, I'm a reality TV junkie. And so I feel like it, you can always tell when, when there's guards up and those are the shows that aren't always as successful. And so, uh, Sophia, I, do you watch any reality TV? Are you, do you watch housewives or Bravo or anything on TLC or anything? I don't watch too, honestly, right now I am into selling sunset. I will say oh, I started so watching good. that. We're big um, Chip and Joanna Gaines. Oh fans. my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Chip and Joanna Gaines. I don't know if you would call that reality, but it does follow their counts. lives. So I I guess like I've definitely seen them, de- seen shows and it's 2000. You're living on 2022. You're living under a rock if you haven't seen an episode of the Kardashians. So I have seen, of course, um, it's just so interesting because I don't think of our show as anything like what I've watched because it is truly we're not good actors. So like you're getting our day-to-day lives. I and- am a good, ac- I am an actor. Yeah, and Olivia's an things. actor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sorry. Well, yeah. well the take is back. But she'll be winning her awards in for acting. Yeah. Uh, later, it's I'm just sure. any day now. And I think once you see it, and you see the dynamic with our parents, like it's just so honest and it's refreshing and it's fun. So that it's a unique Show. A yes. unique oh, experience God. with That's unique women. Uh, Olivia, you have uh, lived a lot of your relationships in the public eye. Uh, you've been famously linked to people like Nick Jonas and Ryan Lochte, and now you're oh, you're very oh, hot. Why did you that? <laughs> Wait what? a minute. Is, was that what? not a real thing? No, that that was no, a real you're thing. By, I never oh, dated Ryan. No, Lockie. no, no. Yeah, no. I mean, that was real that you knew him, but I totally forgot about that guy. That was like I, met, I didn't date ago. him. Oh yeah, whatever. I forgot. <laughs> that was online. That was in my research, but apparently I just it was remember wrong. when Seth MacFarlane made fun of him on SNL, and he was like, "What? I don't know. Never mind. Just moving, along, <laughs> moving right along." So, so wait, show. you didn't date Ryan Lochte? That's not a thing. I didn't, but that's okay. There's a lot of misconception out there in my dating history. One day I'll be able to clear it up. She'll write a book who I did not date. (laughs) Yeah. And wait, so the new guy though, who's very hot and I knew you're, cause I'm not a football guy. I'm gay. So I'm, you know, not that gay people can't like football, but you know, I'm not a big football guy, but I did know your boyfriend from the GQ spread. That was a GQ, that photo shoot that he did, Christian. Yeah, Christian. Oh, you saw him in that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a very- gorgeous photo shoot but are you nervous to have him on the show because he appears at least in the premiere he's on FaceTime so were you nervous to bring him along for this ride yeah I would say that's probably one of the most nerve-wracking parts of it because he's so important to me obviously and he I don't want to do anything that would jeopardize his comfort level he's a very private person I'm not so that's something that I'm very conscientious of but I think he'll get more comfortable with it as we continue and he does make his presence known. So that's good. Baby steps. So. Yeah. Right. And uh, Aurora, is this something you would want to do for long term? Do you see this existing in 10 years? Do you want to keep working with your sisters on this show? Or what's the what's the yeah, crystal I mean, ball? I think it's to me, it's like the best of all worlds because we get to spend time with each other. We get to work with amazing producers, amazing people, you know, on all parts of, of making a, a TV show. It's it's an exciting thing to be a part of. And, um, you know, I feel like one of our, one of kind of our superpowers is that we are willing to be vulnerable and kind of put put ourselves on the line in a, in a risky way to be torn apart or hopefully loved. Um, and, Yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a lot to share and there's a lot to learn from the process and I'm just excited to be on, on this ride with them. Yeah. And what's the biggest misconception do you think that, uh, I mean, going into the first season of this show that you see online, I mentioned Olivia, someone you 
I thought you dated because of something that was on the internet. So are there other misconceptions <laughs> that? <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. Um, we'll have to do another podcast about like who I actually did. I know. Um, will you tell we're... me? Can you tell me who you actually did it? We'll do it another time. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's like, I'll text. I already got myself I, in the trouble. The list that I saw online, it was like, oh man, that guy's hot. That guy's hot. That guy's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. so funny. Um, well, I feel like there are so many misconceptions, I guess. Well, I don't know. People say horrible things online that I'm like, God, I really hope that's not true about myself. So maybe people will be be pleasantly surprised about um, maybe a little piece of themselves that they can see in our life because where we came from, I mean, our life is, we, people, I think can find a lot to relate to. Like we're, we're especially, you know, just small town girls from Rhode Island with a big family and um, parents that are, you know, kooky and quirky yeah. in the best way. I think everybody can relate to that to a certain extent. And we're just excited to be able to, to show people that I can't really say exactly what would be clearing the air. I think um, it's just with social media. It's yeah. a highlight reel, obviously. And sometimes when you're only seeing a highlight reel, it's hard to see the relatability to someone. And this show will give you exactly that. If it was ever something where you maybe if you felt from one of our pages, like it's just a highlight reel. Now you see our day-to-day ins and out and it adds some like real humanness and rawness to each of us because at the end of the day, we're someone's sister, we're someone's daughter, we're someone's friend. Like it really is just, yeah, just going through life. And I think just seeing the three of us kind of interact root for each other, but also there's that rivalries at some times and there's insecurities. And, um, but at the end of the day, when you, when you love your sisters enough, their success is your success and and their pain is your pain. And it's just a nice thing to, I think for people to watch and hopefully relate to and kind of grow with us. And are there specific storylines that we could look forward to this season? Anything that you could spoil or tease for us? There's a lot about uh, Sophie and Olivia's dogs. Oh my God. There's a lot of just, there's just like stupid rhyme. Let's just stuff. say the potty training's going better. Yeah. <laughs> if you do get a insight into like what, dumb things we fight about the dumb things that we fight about and then the meaning behind like the real meaning behind the dumb things we fight about like what we really are arguing about maybe um under the surface so there's it's some, it's honestly you've got to watch it to see it even just the dynamic with our parents i can't even tell you but they're just they're just quirky people the cameras couldn't have come out at a better time in my life if you're if you really want if you want to right, see so you, things hit the fan in a your big relationship way. really uh takes over at the end of episode one, this, this episode will air after episode one, but uh, Aurora, your relationship, you talk a little bit about it at the end of the episode and you've since filed for divorce publicly. And how are you doing now? I'm doing really well. I think um, it, I know that it was the best move for my entire family. Um, I just went trick-or-treating with my ex-husband last night and my kids, you know, we get along well. Um, It was, it was difficult to share the truth of what what really went down. And, and I'm happy that I did because I think, you know, there's a lot of people that go through separation or divorce and it can be a very isolating experience. And I just hope that I can open people's eyes up that it doesn't have to be like the biggest tragedy ever. And that, you know, staying together for the kids is actually not always the best thing to do. And that, you know, your story is never anything to be ashamed of. And and mine was a unique one. And, um, and yeah, I, I'm not ashamed of my story. I'm not ashamed of like the growth that I've had to experience over time to come to the conclusions that I made. Did you all worry about drama? Because oftentimes on reality show, there's sometimes it's produced and sometimes it comes out naturally. But I always think about being on a reality show and feeling like a pressure to make some big dramatic thing happen, a table flip <laughs> or something happen. Oh my God. Did you feel any of that? Or were you just like, let's just uh, see what happens? I mean, I, I know what you mean, but it, you just have to come over for dinner and you'll understand there's really no shortage. We, we, okay, I'm not going to lie. Yes. Like when we first started, I was like, what do we, like, we're going to have to do something that's going to, people are going to want to watch. And then like Amanda, our producer really, she was like, no, you guys don't understand. Like they're like, just live like you're a spectacle and we're yeah. like are you sure like don't you want us to do more and she's like mm -mm, it's already too much <laughs> she's like dial it yeah, down a little if anything we had to we had to pull back because we have two brothers uh, that aren't even really in the show 
And it's because there was like, there was just too much going on with the three of us. It would have been too much to pull in them as well. But our parents literally during our entire show, our parents bought a farm, like started yeah. renovating it. My mom's like a hoarder. And I was like, don't you guys want to follow that? And it, they already had too much going on. And I was like, that is, there's just, there's, there's not a so, shortage of stuff shortage. that would be interesting for people to see that I think people would really love. Um, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I want to talk beauty tips because you're all very gorgeous. And so just give me something. Do you have, what can you tell me? Skin care, anything. Is there okay, a tip so, so. on the show? We see something with the, the mummy wraps or I forget what they're called. Oh, but yeah. Tell me like a good tip or something. I'll, I'll give you a really good tip. This is like one of the like best kept secrets. That's not really a secret, but like everybody needs to be taking a lot of omega fish oils. It's great for inflammation, great for skin um, and, and regular water. And I'm not a water. I'm, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. Regular water is not good enough. You have to put minerals in it. Otherwise you're not absorbing it enough into your bloodstream and your skin. And I just think that, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. about. But that. speak to a doctor before taking any and then also sophie and i realized that wa washing your face with cold water makes oh, a yeah. huge difference washing your face with cold water in the morning helps with inflammation and i think skincare wise for myself um less is more and I stick with the same products that work for you i was switching things up all the time and it was chaos for my skin i finally mm. got my skin clear and right and it was because That's i'm so doing so much less yeah. so for me i actually have the opposite thing so i feel like you have to you have to use a different exfoliant, like a liquid exfoliant with like an AHA or a BHA every night. Like one night I use a mm -hmm. retinol. The next night I use a like Dr. Dennis Gross peel pad. The next night I use the, you can yeah. alter, it but has to be like a chemical exfoliant. And somebody gave a great example of, uh, or like a metaphor for this. It's like when you have dirty dishes, if you soak them overnight, then that's like a chemical exfoliator. Then the next day it comes off smooth or you could scrub them, you know, like what's less abrasive. And it, damage, right. and it damages the surface. Mm -hmm. so. I also I think mean. like with the microbiome of the face, like you have like different, there's just like different bacteria that's going to be tackled by different chemicals. So if you're switching it up, you're uh, targeting the different types of germs. That's my, yeah, that's my, definitely a, doctors. So a just nice <laughs> tune in. Oh, we could have done a whole separate thing job. about about this because I'm so fascinated by all this stuff. Um, okay, I know I got to let you all Feel go, fast. but the, no, no. the things that I asked, there's two questions that I ask all of my guests. And uh, the first is, if you were choosing for People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, who would you choose? It's got to be like a famous actor, musician, someone. It could be dead or alive, but it doesn't have to be someone current. And then also your favorite Mariah Carey song. All I want oh, for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. All I want. For Christmas. <laughs> yeah, come on. I kind of like. Why are you so obsessed with? Or me? hero. Oh, yeah. I, so like I like that one. Um, um, okay, I'm gonna say Jason Momo. I'll just get started. And <laughs> okay. um, my favorite Mariah Carey song is probably. Um, uh, I, 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 now you you got you took mine. Butterflies, it's, hero. No, all I want for Christmas. I'm just gonna. Okay. It's just an original. <laughs> My absolute favorite Mariah Carey song is Hero. It's beautiful. So and oh, honestly, Christian is just a dream for me. There's no I mean, way he's that very hot, but you got to choose somebody else. He's very hot, though. He's like the <laughs> hottest. Okay. He's who's like really hot. funny? Do not say PT. Who would, can, Olivia, can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. Who was your first crush? Like, what, do you remember your first childhood crush? Who was my first crush? Oh my God. You what know, Sophie's first crush happened to be. Don't even. <laughs> what? Um, who's my first crush? Oh, it was like somebody that Gabby always like had on her wall. Just it was Timberland? either Orlando. Oh, Blue. like J J J Jonathan oh Taylor God. Thomas or no, something. Ryan, Ryan, the, the, Ryan the, Phillippe? Uh, the guy, the skateboarder. Ryan Sheckler, yes, was Ryan Sheckler. yes, that was like our teenage heartthrob. I don't even know who that is. Go ahead. Well, he. Oh. He, was this a skateboard so or something? My, I'm not going to my first crush. Um, well, celebrity, now, obviously, I, if I could choose my boyfriend, I would. Can I please say it was one on your wall? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, who was on her wall? Tell us. Olivia, Sophie's first crush was Nick Jonas, who Olivia later started dating. You know how weird oh it is God. to like go to bed knowing that you used to have Nick Jonas's poster on your wall and then he's sleeping down the hall. Oh my with your God. with your sister. <laughs> that is, yeah, that'd be frustrating. I'd get the that's yeah. when you get the voodoo was, doll of the I will sister. say the crush was over when they started dating. It, yeah, I was it was my generation. I was a Jonas Brothers girl. Um, right. but yeah, that was so weird and so funny. <laughs> now my celebrity crush, I would have to say, is um gosh, 
it's so hard i also like don't want to say anybody that like might i might run into one and they might gonna pop in the DMs. DMs later yeah. yeah yeah well uh, it's because he's super funny i think miles teller is just like he's just funny oh yeah he's so he's so like, always loved his personality just like a person i'm a personality person sure like, ladies i gotta that. wrap but thank you so much for taking the time the colpo sisters airs on tlc thank you so much and we'll be watching. I look forward to checking out the season. Thank Monday you so at 9 p.m. Woo, yeah. thank you.